Hey everybody, it's that one guy for the win. I'm back because I have a PlayStation 3 again. And I'm in the process of uh, getting all the stuff that I used to have back. Because I moved on with life and now I'm coming back to collecting what I used to have. Um, and that part of that means getting... ISO files from the internet and loading them onto an external drive. Um, some of the websites will give you the option to download uh, game folders uh, and most of them give you the option to download redumps which are encrypted ISOs um, and um, I particularly like uh, converting game folders to ISOs because uh, I mean this process doesn't take that, take that long like that process does but um, I find that this isn't really covered as much uh, out there uh, regarding decrypting ISOs with the D key codes so when you download a uh, redone ISO if you're doing a bunch of ISOs at once like I am I suggest having another SSD drive or an SSD drive in general you keep everything on including the homebrew uh, and modding tools plus the ISOs so I'll show you my folder file system um, so I have one external drive that I'm doing everything on um, and another that has all the ISO PS3 stuff that plugs into the console. Um, this way I can avoid clutter on the PS3 external hard drive and just keep that sh purely for ISO games to fill that thing up as much as possible. Um, the external drive is formatted into the S, S um, but the only thing I'm covering today is how to decrypt encrypted um, ISOs. So, if we go to the PS3 Deck R5 folder, I have that on my external uh, drive I'm doing all this stuff on. Um, and I have a folder of D key codes for games that I have that are encrypted that I want to decrypt. I have a folder of the encrypted file ISOs and I have another folder for the D keys. The D keys you get from this website which I'll post in the description and the ISOs you can get from uh, um, the various ROM websites just search for PS3 ISO or fun ISO, ROM, whatever it is. Um, so um, just find the, scroll down this list and download all the D keys for the uh, games you want to decrypt. And uh, the encrypted ISOs, like again, I, like I'm saying again, uh, they're going to be redump when you download them. That's the option is redump uh, ISO. So we're going to do Car Call of War is the cartel. So we're going to move that into the PS3 Deck R5 folder. They're on the same drive, so it's instantaneous transfer. No need to copy between drives. I'm going to change this for clarity to just say encrypted. And then I'm going to open a notepad. And this is the command we're going to paste in the command prompt. Um, so D key is where you paste the code. The first set of parentheses is the input file name and the second is the output file name. Um, I just noticed there was an error on my ISO so I'm going to go over there and find it 
Cold War is decrypted. Okay. That was on the encrypted side, I suppose. Okay, never mind down that. Um, so, you have to do all this within the PS3 Deck R5 folder. That's why I have a separate window with all the games I'm going to move over. So I could just drag and drop. Um, but this is renamed. And I'm going to copy this whole file, included the ISO, the name. Paste that into input file. Paste it into output file. And on the output one, I'm going to change the EN to DE for decrypted. So, um, this is the command. And I'm on Windows 11, by the way. Um, I'm going to type CMD into the uh, folder URL for uh, the PS3 deck inside of the PS3 deck folder where you have the PS3 deck ex executable just go type CMD and now we're in command prompt with the uh, running in the or looking inside of the uh, folder we're running in I'm going to copy the command, paste it, and enter. See, it looks like there's an error. So, I didn't paste the D key. So, the D key is inside of here. So, I put in here Call of War is the cartel. Because I'm on Windows 11, when you double click on a D key, it will ask you what to open it in. Just open it in Notepad. And uh, it opened a new tab. So I just need to delete the return. All of these D keys have a return on them for some reason. Just delete that. And just make sure you're getting only the numbers and letters. Copy that and go into my other tab. I'm pasting that on D key. Now I can copy the whole command and paste it in here. And there it goes, it's pretty fast. Usually takes between 10 and 30 seconds. Um, as for, I mean, I'm sure you can figure it out on getting PS3 Hen or um, I'm using uh, Evil Nat 4.9 uh, and Multi Man and Iris Man. But uh, you can probably use those tools to rename the file if you really want to also. So it's done. And if we look inside of the PS3 deck R5 folder, there's a decrypted and encrypted one. Delete the encrypted and the decrypted. We're going to put that on the external drive with all my PS3 ISOs right here. And that's how you um, use PS3 deck R5 and D keys to decrypt encrypted uh, redump ISOs of PS3 games. Hope that helped. And maybe you'll see more videos from me. We'll see. All right. Bye.